so much. I was just talking about how uh, the piano sound as a whole was like a very crucial element uh, to the creative process and the live show, the album, and everything. And I'm gonna kind of like go a step further. So the upright was even uh, a source of, I don't know if like it's the best way to say it, but like a stable energy or like a, a grounding point that I could focus uh, my mood shifts around because uh, if you create, whether you're an artist, a musician, a dancer, uh, I'm sure that you can relate to having some highs and some lows. It is uh, synonymous with being a creative person. We tend, tend generally to be a bit closer to our emotions, which is a beautiful thing because we capture those, whether it's conscious or not, and kind of like express them through uh, a very unique and creative process that is unique to you. Uh, but that also means that you know the highs can be very high, the lows can be very low. Sometimes it can be hard to deal with that. But I, mean, I don't mean to set the, the sound overly negative because being able to do art and do it for a living and share beautiful nights like tonight is absolutely a blessing. It is mostly a wonderful thing. But it's very important for me to, to share that stuff because um, I think that balance is something that needs to be very much talked about. Sometimes it can be easy to get caught in like the, the crunch or like very easy to burn yourself out when you're your own, you're the person responsible for your schedule. So it's something I want to be transparent about. And in my case, uh, the creative process, which is very solitary, can get uh, kind of crazy and disturbing sometimes. I can get very preoccupied and kind of like everything else gets sidetracked. But what you're seeing tonight, what happens on stage, is one of my favorite parts of being able to do Anomaly for a living because thanks to these guys and the repertoire that we play, I'm able to rediscover the tunes and kind of like take a step back and appreciate them through their musicianship and who they are. So with that in mind, another huge warm of a round of applause for the wonderful Alexi Elina. This next track is particularly particularly fun to play with them. It is called the Hummingbird. Oh, Thank <laughs> you. 